Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where I still, as you can see, have a respiratory issue but I have a humidifier in the room now and hopefully that will help a lot and I have angled it so that it doesn't hit any of my uh, technology that I don't want to be humid, just me. Uh, but we are heading out this way. We have to go up. I wasn't super duper paying attention. Oh, oh stuff. Well, 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 well. Where's the map? Okay. Oh, just down. I'm a silly goose. Just through this opening here, it doesn't have to be that, that hard. I'm just used to Energy things being made difficult. <sighs> Great. Hephaestus cover the floor with lightning. The floor is lava! I gotta find a way over it. Well, sometimes hey, the floor Lord. is lava. More machines keep coming. Please tell me you're getting close. I'm working on it. I've been smashing through a lot of machines on my side, too. I guess Aaron's missing out! Anyway, I'm making progress on the bypass, but I, I need something to hold the cycling module together. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? Right. O or some luminous braiding. And you could reinforce it with a conversion cylinder. For increased connectivity! Well, well. I think... I think we can do this, Aloy! She's getting excited, which means, uh, oh, we're doomed. We're doomed. Something's gonna happen. Something's gotta make her <laughs> be like, oh no, I'm, I am really worried. It's actually giving me a lot of anxiety thinking that she might get yoinked. I might be able to catch a ride on a rail. Go over the shield. On a rail? Go oh, on that up there? I saw little creatures running. <laughs> little machines. Oh. Didn't realize. Or I probably did at one point, but I totally forgot that this is a. Uh... You can break those and get stuff out of them. There you go. I like this? Is that. Okay. <laughs> I was like. Alright. I need to drive Hephaestus out of here. There should be another note to override. Got it. Oh, okay, you're tougher. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Good thing that for whatever reason this armadillo can't seem to. Oh, did you see me? Oh, jeez. Oh, here we go again. Well, at least I don't got its friends. I'll try to get your access back. Wait. Oh, more friends. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Can I have the high ground, please? And I'm desperately searching for high ground. Oh, jeez! Oh my gosh, unfair, unfair. I don't think there's anything I can get on that they can't get up. I don't, I don't like this at all. I wanted to hit. What? 
Er, I know it's a fellow back, but that makes sense. Frost. Getting somewhere. guys over there. That's good. I have no ammo. Ooh, good. What is that? What interrogation is that? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Why are there so many? Did I blow up the armadillo? Excuse you, excuse you, excuse you. I did blow up the armadillo. That's why I set traps. Awesome. Oh, you just apparently like jumped on over and that just walked right by it. That's cool. Nope, that's not, not the one I wanted to do. I wanna do this. I am running out of blast base. Uncool. What how did you Okay, I am busy. Oh my gosh! I'm trying to make sure that this that little one. What are you eat to? Three versus electricity. Not that. This stuff seems to do anything. Did it not work? Did they not set up? Oh good. It hits me so much harder. That's all. Jeez. And there. Node access restored. Now you can override it. Good work. You did the heavy lifting. I freaking just like, decided to use the spear thrower, which is something I wanted to use from the get-go, because I think it's really cool, um, but it just takes so much blast pace that it <laughs> ended up not being a super usable weapon, at least in my mind. Um, and also, like, there is the, the added unfortunate side effect that if you blow things up, you're less likely to get anything good from them, I think is what it is, like if you use explosives or burning. <laughs> you're less likely to get resources from the things you kill. Not impossible, I think it's just less likely, but maybe I'm, maybe it's a stat from Forbidden West or Horizon Zero Dawn. Also, I honestly, it just makes me angry. Like, I had nowhere to, like, get up. As far as I can tell, I had nowhere I could, like, latch onto to get the high ground. Like, even if I was playing a bow, like, like a bow build, um, like, it's really hard to do any of it unless you have, like, the space to do it from. Like, even just a little bit of high ground would be nice, but I had no high ground access, really, as far as I could tell. Like, oh, I had a little bit, but they, they come up and get you immediately. Maybe I'm just whining, because I just want to, like, have, like, a secure high ground to just pot shot from. But I am not... I, this game really does seem to, like, heavily lean it up to the melee build, and I'm not a melee build. I don't want to be a melee build. Oh, time to fight the big thing, whatever it okay. is. Just running out of place to hide. Uh, I go this way. Maybe? I just registered a huge I I energy surge back, back in the production chamber. Something big is happening. Oh my gosh! I was gonna <laughs> scream. Everything's glowing. The machine just was melting. It must have Let's finished. Let's see what it. it is. I'm excited. Well, I'm excited, Powerful. but I'm also like, oh my. I'm almost done with oh. the core repairs. Should, should we come to you? Maybe I could distract the machine. Uh oh. No, baby. Just stay where you are, okay? Handling the machines. You major. are a violation, but no more. Be safe. Oh my 
gosh, I don't have that much blast pace left. Well, here we go. It gave me a bunch of... <laughs> Should I do that, I guess? <coughs> Deploying priority unit S Mark One. I should scan it first. Okay. Those things on its legs. Are so, <laughs> I think it's this is up. editing squirrel. Um, unfortunately, I have muted myself um, after a coughing fit that I had, and so you don't get to hear me react to this entire fight. But I do figure it out at the very end of the fight that I, my audio is muted. So. Here we go. And it's charging. It's covered in I was spine. expecting a new machine, but turns out we get a slaughter spine, which is super sick. So what I am doing is I'm trying to run around and I'm trying to set traps that are uh, purge water traps, because that's what it's weak to. And I figure this is sort of a modification of like my old version of doing things back in Horizon Zero Dawn, where I would just set a bunch of traps in the cauldrons. Like I'd set a bunch of traps around like the central like birthing unit, essentially, and then I would trigger the fight as soon as I was done setting my traps, and then the machine would just run around getting hit by traps, <laughs> and I wouldn't have to do almost anything. Um, but <laughs> um, I figured it would at least it would help because my other thing is that I'm using the sling, the purge water sling, and I figured it, if it hits the trap, because most things like this have an AOE or a charging attack, then I can like the 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 freaking traps will help me reach the plasma state, or the, sorry, the, the purge water state faster. Then I'll have to use a gazillion bombs, or grenades, or whatever. Um, but anyway, this thing is super sick. <laughs> just do it, I think there's like a, oh, and here, so here's what I was also trying to do. I was trying to set up just a bunch of, like, traps all over. But unfortunately, what really peeves me off, look at this, it happens a couple times. It happens several times, actually, like, again, here. I'm trying to set traps down, but I cannot tell which parts it's I can set traps down on. Because apparently parts of the floor you can't set traps on. Which is super incredibly dumb. And then the stupid thing gets in the way when I'm trying to shoot his plasma cannon. Um, but yeah, like I, it's not like I, I can set the traps on the metal. Like that that's obviously something I can do. I don't just have to put it on like the dirt parts. But there's like some I don't know if there's like an oh that was dumb. Yeah, I was I thought I had selected traps, but it turns out I used one of my freaking explosive not explosive arrows, but hair arrows. Anyway. And sorry for the glitching. Ugh, I don't know why it's doing it again. The last episode was fine. I have no idea why it was why it's doing this Maybe again. Hopefully I can get it fixed again. Um but probably this one and the next one will probably have issues then. So, uh, but luckily I'm trying not to record too much at once without double checking the recordings. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, I'm incredibly frustrated because like, I don't know if, if there's like a particular angle that I'm hitting or, or what, or if I have to hit something super flat. Like, I'm sure there's actually like a way if the, like, there's probably like, uh, there's an actual thing where it's like, yeah, you have to put it on this sort of ground, but like, I don't know. <laughs> And the ground all looks fine to me, but like, look, I, I freaking, I could, I placed it on the, the ground that was tilted a little bit there, but the second one on the flat part didn't want to place. So I was incredibly frustrated because I was like, like I get it, right? It's, they they didn't freaking care about trap like the trap stats at all. They didn't care about the trapper class at all. It appears when they were making the game, but like. Really, in the cauldron, you're gonna make it so I can't lay down traps fast? I don't know, this is me going on my scheduled trapper rant. Like, if I'm gonna do fights like this, I need to be able to set traps fast. Because it, it can't just be like a sneak thing, you know? And if the ground is just like, no, I don't feel like it, then I'm gonna be really angry about it. <laughs> but this fight is sick, honestly. I think we're, I think we're, we're getting there. I did not expect this lotter spine. But I should have, I guess. <laughs> Look at this is the part. You see this freaking glowing I didn't notice that when I was like playing necessarily. Um but freaking in the editing I was like, oh my gosh, it's like freaking plasma eyes are glowing. Oh and here I think I'll say it later, but like I'm trying to target what I thought were like the gunnery, like armaments on the spines. But I think actually looking at it now after watching, I think the guns are on the tail or something. I don't know. 
in in the notebook thing that I had checked out, it looked like there was something on the spines that I could knock off. Um, like that I could knock off the spines, but I don't think that's the case. And I know there's the whole, like, it's charging up its plasma dillywops or whatever, but I tend to spend that time, I think, laying traps. But even then, like, there's not, it doesn't give you a lot of time, not like the start of the fight. And I hate the freaking AoE on these machines is incredible. Like, I can be dodging, too. Like, I'll be mid-dodge and I'll still get hit, which is realistic. Like, I get it. But, like, and that was, that was be I was really frustrated. I was just trying to make the purge water traps, like, in the moment, which was dumb, right next to the machine. And then, here's my other thing, it like, it's like, oh, you need a cleanse potion. And I'm like, okay, I will sit here because you can't run. I've tried it before where I've even, like, like switched my hands up and, like, tried to do it while um, running. And you can't move while clicking through the... Uh, the, the, the things to, like switch what your instant like uh, d-pad stuff is you know you can't run while you're doing that so I had to stand there and like scroll for my cleanse potion or like a health potion or whatever and it's just it's so unintuitive <laughs> I don't like it at all and again maybe I'm doing it wrong like, people could be like oh you just got to do it like this and I'd be like oh I'm an idiot and like that's fine but like as far as I can tell, I have tried it, and I had another friend try it too, and he couldn't get it. He couldn't get it to work either. Where like you're trying to run and switch, switch like the traps and the potions and stuff at the bottom. <laughs> See, I like try to like predict the shot, but I go too fast. And the slow mo, slow mo is almost weirder, because the machines move so like, intuitively. Or so, like, organically, so it's just hard to track sometimes for me. Also, I have bad aim. Um, so as you can see, I get really <laughs> I get frustrated and I pull out the spears <laughs> and I start chucking spears at <laughs> Oh, man. This was a good fight, though, honestly. Except that the traps not laying was frustrating, but, like, at least these ones work, right? And, like, this is actually, like, a game changer, honestly. So the, the, the real me, not the editing me, will be starting up here in a second. So uh, thank you guys for listening to me rant about traps again. <laughs> and um, we can just watch this thing explode together. And the, there we go. See you in a second. It's done. You did it! Uh, oh my gosh, I think I had myself override. muted that whole fight, but Good. oh my gosh. Stand by. I'm sending Hephaestus back to <sighs> Part of the reason I freaking started using these is because they just do a lot of damage, but the laying the traps down, the purge water traps was good too, honestly. It, that's what killed it in the end, and it did take a ton of damage from them, but oh my goodness gracious. Whew. I was like, I was trying to hit it with the arrows, but it really is just like a such a pain in the butt to like actually like hit where I want to hit and I don't think I don't know if like I was I was trying to hit the spines <laughs> excuse me <coughs> I was trying to hit the spines because I thought that those were where like the plasma gun stuff was coming off of and there was like the plasma like nodules that you could you could get um but those are, are so small and even in slow-mo mood it moves so fast or, like it moves enough that like I'll fire and then it's gone and I'm like great you know so So yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I just wanted to blow it up. And with the with the spikes and let it take the damage from the purge water because it was weak to that, but also so it would stop hitting you with plasma attacks. So that worked out in the it worked out pretty well, honestly. Did I already get the I think I did. Where's the thing? Do I need... Oh, dang. Oop. I keep wanting to interact button with it, and that's not... No more like hiding, Hephaestus! Come on out! Mm -hmm. Got it! Hephaestus is back in the core! Make sure it's safe. And it'll there. be super easy. I'm heading back. Barely an inconvenience. And then we can start the merge. 
because of you, Beta. I'm glad you came along. Up, oh, she's gonna Thank get you. yoinked. Oh. No, we couldn't have done any of this without you. Right back at you, Aloy. See, Aloy's learning. Just took her to the end of the game. Do I need to go to you guys or go to this behind me? Hey, Aloy. Ah, they didn't the move in. bypass is done. Akora's stable. Hephaestus is 100% oh. contained. We did it. Yay, no problems. It's I fine. get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. I actually God. wouldn't mind if this went very smoothly, honestly. Hephaestus has been a pain in the to butt the merge, for a long time. To excise Hephaestus's malicious code, carefully. It'd be nice to see what Hephaestus is like without the anger, you know? Is this the part that's supposed to take us hours? Oh no. Honestly, like, holograms are cool, but I think my arms would get really tired if that's how we had to do, like, technical work, like, digital stuff. I don't mind keyboards, honestly. <laughs> hey, Lloyd. Look. Uh, is that Hephaestus? Oh, no, it's the sun ring. Is that, does that mean I have sun, is this how I had to unlock sun wings? Oh. I knew it, also, this is, could not just go very nicely, but if that's how I unlocked sun wings, then it is part of well, the main quest. Well, I know! Redundant copy. You cost us quite a lot of Oh no! I actually was lured into a false sense of security. I thought we were going to get out of this. Eric, get beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. <laughs> How do they have levitation technology? Oh, oh good, Varl. Oh my gosh, good. I was getting worried. No, run now. We run. Ooh. <laughs> get behind me. No, Varl! Oh my gosh! Come on! Quit screwing around! I'm gonna be so... Yeah, we're having oh fun. my gosh! No! 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 <laughs> No. This was worse than I anticipated. Finally. Tilda, get guy and have no! ready for trouble. No! Tilda. I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Uh, Tilda. What the hell are you doing? Stop her! No, I can't even see her! Oh, you better be able to bring Varl back. He better just be bad out. I have a gazillion health potions on me and herbal things I can just shove into that wound in his stomach. Oh my gosh. There's no way Varl <laughs> dies. Beta. No, I, no, I, he can't be dead.
He's my best friend. Where am I? Ah, you're awake. You took quite a hit when Gerard attacked you. I survived a slaughter spine hitting me repeatedly. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. And this guy took I me can out. I assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've... shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. I've done breakfast. Why is this... Okay. This is very domestic. <laughs> Well, I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to call it here, because I think, timing-wise, this is probably for the best, but, oh my gosh, if Barlow's actually dead, I don't know how I didn't get that as a spoiler at some point. I haven't, I haven't had anything spoiled for me or there's a game, but, like, how could I have not have seen that? I don't know. It's been a, over a year. <laughs> But I'm I'm really hoping I'm especially with like future Zenith technology doohickey stuff that we can save him, um, because that would just be really I would be really sad honestly that would be really disappointing. He's my oldest friend in this game. Like he's been so, since zero dawn. He was like your first friend that you make. So anyway, here's me being hopeful. So thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, <laughs> but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And <coughs> excuse me, an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And an extra special shout out. Thank you so much to my forest tier patron, Christopher. <laughs> I appreciate your above and beyond support. It's very, very welcome and very, very kind. So anyway, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it and I hope to see you in the next one.